All right, so the Galahorn has been released into the wilds of Destiny 2. And I'm going to go over how to get it and how to get the Callus. The Callus, uh, it's not that hard to do, but it does require to do the dungeon uh, pretty much halfway through. Uh, of course, I'm, not I'm, I'm taking credit of solving and how to find it. It's just information, you know, gets out there. And here I am making a video about it. So I'm not taking any credit of finding it, but uh, it is a lot of people who got it before me for sure. Anyways, so if you want to know what the Callus does, it increases the magazine size by one. Looks like if you hover over it, the green triangle goes up by one and it increases, it spawns a faster, powerful missile at the opponent or the enemy you shot it at. So let's go ahead and start off of how to get it. So first things first, you get a quest to, or when you first log in, you actually are forced to play Dares of Eternity. Um, and then once you finish that, you want to go ahead and head back to Zer, put the treasure key into the treasure chest, and then there's a quest you can pick up at Zer, and it's Zer's treasure hoard, and then you can go ahead and start the dungeon. Now, the first thing to do is, well, complete the dungeon at least one time, and that is the first step. And yes, the dungeon is not that hard, and my difficulty scaling, it's like probably one of the easiest dungeons to complete. Uh, probably the first encounter is the hardest. Other than that, the rest is pretty subpar, um, but uh, it's solo bow for sure, but it, takes, it will take some time. So there's that. So now after that, after you finish that quest step, is to kill powerful fallen in the Cosmo drone. So you actually get one, uh, what's it called? Wolf round um, from killing the boss. And then you have to kill six more. And it's not a guaranteed drop, but the best spot to really go for it in my opinion, I mean, you can you can do public events of fall in it, but it's a fallen powerful, which is orange bars and above. Uh, so you want to head to the Cosmo drone. Um, and we just went to uh, this this lost sector deck here, Exodus Garden Two A. There's a lot of uh, orange bar fallen that do spawn, so just go kill a bunch. Even it's not a guaranteed drop. It does drop uh, like maybe one every two. Uh, have like a fifty percent chance to drop. So uh, go farm, go to just go downwards and head to this lost sector. You do the go there eventually again. But once you go ahead and finish that part, you have to do, let's do the talk to Shahan. Then you go to Shahan, then you go to Banshee, and then you have to go back to Cosmic Drone and finish this uh, this uh, lost sector again. And then after that, you want to head back to Shahan and head under the uh, transmat zone. And then you get the cat and you get the gun. That's it. Simple as that. Uh, dungeon, kill uh, seven powerful fallen Cosmo drone. Talk to Shahan. Talk to Banshee. Go back, kill the lost sector, and then that's it. Now, Callus. It's a bit different. It's nothing too difficult. It requires you to do at least half of the dungeons of two encounters. You got to finish um, to get the Callus. All you need to do is head back into the, into the dungeon, as always. So I'm gonna show some footage here, and you want to go ahead and. Just head to the first path. So let me show you guys what it looks like. We're starting in the very, very first area. Of course, you want to make sure you open up the loot cave by doing the mechanics with the uh, exotic engrams. And you want to go ahead, head downwards. Now, uh, the way to do is find these yellow bar vandals, which is like basically, I guess it's a meme for a random vandal. Um, and you go ahead and they will doing damage to random. You don't have to kill the vandal to in order to get the drop. You'll have to drop those fake exotic engrams, and you'll get a buff, which is the wealth buff, whatever it's called. Of course, there's a timer where if you wait too long, you will die. And the only way to dispel that buff is pick up a chest in the area. So in the first area, if you just head to the left here, and they're going to be on a cliff to the right. So they'll be fighting these hives. So on the top right, you can see them. They are just fighting up there. So clear out you know, the enemies so you don't get that uh, interference there. You want to go ahead and start fighting the uh, vandal up at top basically and doing more damage not killing but just doing damage to the vandal you will go ahead and they will drop those fake exotic engrams you want to pick those up those engrams up and then you want to head towards to the first chest there is no like item drop when you open the chest um you'll just get a flavor text talking about you looted some fragments so here you can see the burden by the riches so you want to go ahead and head over here so from here you want to head across and it's on this scaffold thing up here. If you do die, it's not a big issue. You do kill the if you do kill the vandal, it will respawn. So as long as you go here, it says you recover looted fragments, and you want to make sure you have the buff with you, and it will disappear the buff. If you pick up the buff again, and you you won't be able to get rid of it. So 
uh, you know, if you kill it, it's fine, but uh, it does respawn, and if you do die, it doesn't make a big deal. You can die with the buff. Just make sure that you uh, pick up the buff and head to the chest right away. Or not right away, but, you know, get to it. Okay, so I'm hoping this is enough information here. Of course, this is where the water gates are. You want to head and, you know, continue on past the water gates. So you just get open the door, second door, and then we're into the second area here. Um, we want to get past this area as well, the wizard's part. This is the, uh, you have to go in a circle and open the doors in a circle. So get past this first. So once you're past the wizard part or the scorch cannon door, you want to head up the uh, passing the uh, Donkey Kong barrel part, and we're gonna head into the very dark room. The dark room, we have the battle right in front of us, just to see us right away. Now you pick it up, and what you do is head into the vent to the next towards the next area. So I'm gonna show you how that looks here. So make sure you have the buff. So get a refresh here, and you want to head up to the vent, and this will let you get to a second chest so just behind us here a suspicious area that has nothing to it but a chest and there you go recovered loot fragments all right lastly the last chest it is over here right after you finish the second encounter you don't want to don't want to go up to the boss you want to make sure you you shift and you rotate the uh, the uh, cannon towards the uh, this path here instead of aiming upwards and you want to head to this this area which is I mean guaranteed you'll find it because that's the only place you can aim it up or this way the van will be spawning on this platform over here and it's very difficult to get across because you don't have three seconds to get across if you gotta find a way to get around um, I think I die here uh, yeah it's very difficult uh, you can use a cannon you can have somebody else with you with a cannon but the timing is very, very awkward, so let me show you guys how I did it on Titan, but uh, I don't know. Hunter, Warlock, I don't know. You can try, but I don't know what's the best way to do it. So, making sure we do enough damage to Vandal here, the Vandal, and we're going to get the Burden Riches, and we're going to be using Metal Tree, uh, Arc Titan, and we're going to use the melee, which makes us get over here. And then apparently the best place to stand on to get there is these structures here. And then just jump up above the tarp and then right at the top. And there you go. All three chests looted and get the catalog core the catalyst just like that. There you go. That's all three. That's what you need to do. Just make sure, you know, you finish the dungeon first at least one time and then come back you could do it in normal no don't want to do master difficulty you could, you could just do it normally um the normal difficulty um and that's it that is how you get it hopefully uh that's a good explanation i don't know it's the, getting the guns pretty not complicated but the callus it's not that bad either but it requires you to you know actually you know play again and that's, what, that's how it normally is right so there we go hopefully you guys enjoy that hopefully you guys uh got help from that um it's a pretty good gun i haven't done the callus yet i'll get it done eventually but i'm sure it's it's pretty it's, a, it's doing it's i think it's pretty strong right now so i enjoy it. i'm enjoying it so hopefully you guys found this helpful i'm hoping